Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be a forecast on the unpredictable or unpredictable, excuse me, events that may be taking place during the second half of September, um, September 18th through the 30th. We're going to get straight into it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button so that you can get notified whenever I post in the future. And if you want a personal, because this is general, please check out my description box as well as take advantage of the 20% off opportunities I have listed there. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. Okay. I'm getting hiccups, um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So what are some unpredictable events that may be taking place? Surrounding my Sagittarius for September 18th through the 30th. What's the energy surrounding that? Let's see. So first card out, we have prison. Okay. All right. So for a lot of you, um, okay. So some of you may be slipping into a mental prison. So some of you literally, you're not going to go to prison. Some of you, like if there is some sort of court situation going on, um, within your family, like somebody's going through some legal issues, um, they may be going to prison. Um, that's only if that's your situation. Don't take this in if it has nothing to do with you. But um, for others of you, this is more of you slipping into a mental prison. And when I say that, this is like you mentally feeling blocked, not knowing which way to move, feeling stuck, and also feeling just very, some of you, uninspired. You guys may have been very inspired in the beginning half of the year, ready to go, ready to go. And just certain circumstances could be making you feel very, like I said, very uninspired and very blocked, okay? Um, what's another thing that I'm, I'm noticing from this? Some of you also, some of you guys are going to start to feel like whatever relationship that you're in, that there's like no way you could really move with it. So some of you, you genuinely don't want to leave the person who you're in a relationship with, but they're not taking you seriously. Um, you could almost feel as if they don't care as much as you do. And it's putting you in a space to where mentally you don't know which way to move. If you should leave this person alone, even though that may hurt your feelings, because it's like, dang, I have to let this person go. That's going to hurt. But then also it's like, if you stay in it, it's still going to hurt because you're not getting what you deserve. So it's like, you're in a weird in between. It's like, you're in a prison of bad energy almost. Some of you are going to realize though that you staying in a circumstance that you're not happy in is you putting yourself in your own prison. Okay. And a lot of you, this may trigger you to break free, but definitely you guys may be slipping into a mental prison. I, I'm just seeing that if you haven't already, um, we have service. So, Hmm. Some of you, if you have a spouse that does like remote work, so it's like they have to like move around everywhere to do work, like they're part of FEMA or something like that, your person may have to leave for a little bit um, during this time frame, which you're not expecting to happen so that they can go do some business. Um, some of you, you may have a, a child, like if you're a mother and your child is grown enough, they may be going off into the military or if your person's already in the military, they may be going off and um, being deployed during this time frame. Some of you, you may even have an interest to go into the army as well, like wanting to sign up to go be in service because you may not know what else to do with your life. So you're like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and serve so I can kind of, you know, have some sort of career. We have thought in reverse. So, okay. Some of you are finally going to be able to get somebody off of your mind who's been on your mind a lot. This is an ex or even somebody who you recently had some dealings with. But some of you are overly obsessing about this individual, like obsessing, like all you could do is think about this person, what they're doing, how they feel about you, 
all this stuff and you're not getting to a point to where you're breaking free from that or for some of you it's getting even worse like some of you like your obsession with this person and what they think and all that other stuff may be like taking a a crazy turn so some of you may be realizing that this is unhealthy and that you may need to stop doing that during this time frame especially if it's been a year or more or even months okay it's one thing if you like recently stopped talking to somebody and you know you've been wanting to know like what's going on with them but if you've been stuck for like a year or longer and you still like are obsessing over somebody who you haven't talked to in a long time, some of you are going to realize that, okay, well, what is really going on? Why am I doing this? And then try to break free from it. Some of you guys are going to try to break free from that. Some of you also, what you're going to realize is as much as you take in consideration of somebody else who you're dating, they're not as nearly, uh, uh, they're not taking in consideration of your feelings as much as you may be taking in consideration of theirs. So you may do things in light of, okay, well, I'm in a relationship. I'm going to be respectful to my person. But during this time frame, you may be finding out that your person's talking to other women or men um, or, you know, entertaining other people. Or when it comes to like gifts and things of that nature, this person doesn't really care to do anything for you. Like for some of you, that could be a problem here. And some of you are going to realize that, dang, I need to stop overly thinking about other people and putting myself last and allowing myself to be walked all over. Others of you, it's in, it's with other relationships in your life. So you may be that one friend that will lend your friend money whenever they need it. Or you may be that one family member that will give their last to their family members just to make sure that they have a roof over their head or that they're good. And people won't do the same for you. Whenever they get money, they don't want to lend it to you. You ask them for help. They're like, no, I ain't got it for you. But you always got it for somebody else. Some of you are going to realize that you need to stop being so nice. Okay. I have full in reverse. Um, the journey card and what else? And wedding in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so some of you, what I'm getting here is um, some of you guys are like on the path towards really finding what that career is going to be for you. What I will say is during this time frame, you're going to notice that there are certain steps that you're taking that's bringing you closer and closer to success. So some of you, you may be reaching a milestone in your business, whether that's like a one year anniversary or a thousand customers. Um, or even a hundred customers. And this is going to give you that ammo to be like, okay, well, I'm going somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Um, some of you, you are going to be celebrating some sort of accomplishment associated with a business of yours. Um, others of you, some of you may be reanalyzing your career and you may be looking at it and like noticing that mm, maybe you're not in the career that you genuinely want to be in. And that your journey is taking you way further than just being, you know, at this job or that job, you know, like your, your journey's in, um, dang, I'm getting so tongue tied. Your journey is pushing you way further than the job that you may be at right now. You know, you may be somebody who can offer good advice to people. So you could work well as a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Uh, you may be somebody who's good at cooking. So you may be somebody who's well suited to be a chef more than somebody who, you know, works a job where you, you know, are unhappy. I'm not even going to mention the job because some lady got mad at me one time when I mentioned the job specifically, I guess she worked at and she wasn't happy about what I said about it. So I'm not going to mention jobs because this is not about the jobs. This is about finding your, your set career. But for a lot of you, you're going to be noticing that you're not basically doing what you truly are meant to be doing here on this plane. You're going to be taking steps towards doing that. So some of you, this could be enrolling in school, applying to other positions, um, trying to gain experience in other fields, things of that nature. 
Some of you also, if you're married, you're about to get divorced. Like if you're married, that relationship is about to fall apart. No offense. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but we have the wedding card in reverse. So some of you guys, you're, you're about to get to divorce. Um, you may be initiating the divorce or your person may be initiating it during this time frame. Some of you, if it's not a divorce, it's like a separation where you guys are not really feeling each other during the time frame and really dealing with each other in that sense. Okay. Some of you, if you've already been in the process of divorce, it may be getting finalized very, very soon. Some of you also somebody who you thought that you were going to get married to, you're going to realize that why would you marry them? Because they got certain problems and things that they can't even do now in a regular relationship. So it's like some of you guys are going to snap into reality, honestly, about somebody who you guys are dealing with. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for watching this. I hope you're able to take something from this reading to kind of, you know, have a heads up. Um, if you want a personal, because you have personal things going on, please check out my description box. My information will be there to book a session. Also take advantage of 20% off. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, um, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.